Hi, I'm just going to show you how to create a new project and a new class in Visual Studio 2013. So first of all, we'll open it up. Okay, so now I want a new project. So I click on New. And uh, we're dealing in C Sharp, so we want, uh, yeah, Windows, yeah. Console, so that's mostly what we'll be using as console application. I should give it a new name and my, my app. And okay. So by default, it should give me a class called program.cs. And as you can see, there's my namespace of my um, of my program, my app, my sorry, my uh, application, my app, and within that, I have one class called program, and it contains a static main method. If I want to add in an extra class, what I can do is type in class, usually a capital for a class, my class. Set up your brackets and okay, let's add in a method public. We don't want it to return anything, so it'll be void. Do work and whoops on there, and we'll get it to do some work. So we'll get it to print out console dot right. with the ubiquitous hello. I like the way it types for me ahead. So how do I call it within that main method? Well, what first of all, I'll have to create my class object. Okay, and now I'll call the method on that. So C dot and it'll tell you all the methods, which is quite nice. So we'll choose my do work, because I've only actually created one method in there. And so, and now the red is gone, so you know it's working. Okay, so the other way to do this is to click on the uh, project itself there and right click and go add. We can go add new item. So we're gonna add a new class. So we just use class and we give it a name. Okay, so I just, I can't remember what I call, oh, it's just my class, okay. So we go add, new item. My class. And it'll appear down here. So, if I go in here now, I just take that method out. Go into program and we just delete that class and then we'll save everything. Okay, so now it will work as two separate classes. Okay, so say if I want to change the name of my class, so I'm going to call it Bob. And if I just change it in here and then hit return. It'll ask me, you're renaming a file, would you also like to perform a rename in this project of all references to the code element, my class? Yes. So hopefully my class will turn to Bob. And will it do it? Okay, so there, changed it automatically there. Will it change it in here? Yes, it has. All done automatically. Pretty nice. Okay, that's it. Thank you.